Hey guys, it's Two Perfect Games or Admin. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies Top 5. And in this Top 5, I'm going to be going over the Top 5 Best New Perks in Call of Duty Zombies. And if you're wondering, what the heck is he talking about New Perks? What, what is that? There are four original perks in Zombies. We have Quick Revive, Double Tap, and I don't mean Double Tap 2.0. I mean regular Double Tap. Speed Cola and Juggernaut. Those are the four original perks. Then they added in perks after that. So I'm going to be going over only the new perks. This does not include Juggernaut, Quick Revive, Speed Cola, and Regular Double Tap. Only new perks they added in after that. So coming in at number five on my list, I have Deadshot Daiquiri. And I know a lot of people don't like this perk. I feel like I'm like the only person in the zombies community that actually likes Deadshot Daiquiri and let me give you the rundown on Deadshot Daiquiri. So Deadshot Daiquiri was first introduced on Call of the Dead and essentially this perk just helps you get more headshots which is pretty nice especially when you don't have like the ray gun or a wonder weapon and you have a commando, an RPK or whatever gun you're using with Deadshot even in Black Ops 2 it's pretty helpful to have Deadshot because you can go for those headshots and you can rack up those headshots and it's pretty awesome. Also you get better hip fire accuracy which is always good when you're training, great for getting points and you're gonna hit more zombies so I know Deadshot has a couple of other features. I think it reduces all recoil and takes the sway away from all weapons or completely um, takes away the recoil on weapons. I'm not exactly sure about the smaller things about this perk but the main things, headshots, better accuracy, sounds pretty good to me. So coming in at number four Four on my list, I have Vulture Raid from Buried, and Buried was the first map to have Vulture Raid. It is the only map in Call of Duty Zombies to feature this perk, and the thing about Vulture Raid that I like so much is there's a couple of things. Now, having that ammo drop and the money drops is pretty sweet, but that having that green smoke with the zombies is absolutely amazing. That can help you out so, so much, especially on a map like Buried. Buried small, it's close quarters, it isn't easy to train on this map, and especially when you have the maze and all that stuff, having this green smoke is extremely helpful. You can kill a zombie, you can accidentally kill a zombie, and you're in this green smoke. Sure, it can be a little bit annoying at times, but overall, it is absolutely amazing. Then on top of that, you get to see where everything is on the map, where the box is located, where wall guns are, where perks are. It's great for new players who don't know the map too well and they can pick up this perk and they know exactly where everything is. So coming in at number three on my list, I have Stamina Up. And Stamina Up is uh, what I like to call a luxury perk because this is a perk you really don't want to get as like your main four but if you can get it if you can get more than four perks or you can complete an easter egg or something along the lines of that stamina up is a really nice perk to have it doesn't really help you out that much but it's just really nice to have especially on larger maps aka transit my gosh i'm stamina up is like a must have on that map but even on the black ops one maps it's so nice to have stamina because you can run around a lot faster, you can run from zombies faster, and you can get one point to one point of the map to other point of the map really quickly, and it's just convenient. It's just nice to have stamina. But like I said, this isn't a perk you want to have in your top four perks unless you're just playing for fun or you're just trying to, you know, spice things up, but if you can get this perk as like a fifth perk, a sixth perk, or you get all the perks, it's an amazing perk to have and there really isn't too much more to say than that. So coming in at number two on my list, I have PhD Flopper. And PhD Flopper is one of my favorite perks in Call of Duty Zombies. And this perk was introduced on Ascension in Black Ops 1 along with Stamina Up. And this perk is just so incredibly useful. We all know how much we wanted this perk in Black Ops 2 and they really didn't give it to us until Origins, but we did have it on Buried and Mob of the Dead and Grief, but we really didn't have the full PhD flopper until Origins. And 
PhD flopper is just so helpful, especially when you have the ray gun and the Mustang and Sally's. And these are two weapons that people love and people love to pack a punch. And these weapons are really good to get you to higher rounds. So a lot of people like to use them regardless. But when you have PhD flopper, it makes these weapons so much better especially the ray gun you get cornered you just spam the ground and you are absolutely good you got that splash damage same with the mustang and sally's when you have uh phd flopper you are pretty much invincible and i think that's why they didn't put juggernaut on mob of the dead grief mode because he had phd flopper pair that with mustang and sally's and you are good to go it kind of sucks that it wasn't on more of the black ops 2 zombie maps but still it's an amazing perk. So coming in at number one on my list, and a lot of you may know what this is going to be, and it's Double Tap 2.0. Now you may be wondering, well Adam, Double Tap was in World War Zombies, one of the original perks. Well, Double Tap 2.0 is a new perk because it's so different from Double Tap. All Double Tap really gave you in World War was a faster fire rate. And I thought it was actually pretty bad because it, all it did is it just wasted your ammo faster, got rid of your ammo faster, which was never a good thing. Um, also, I think with Double Tap, you could like cock the shotguns faster and you could do a couple of things faster with reload animations or just reloading and stuff. But Double Tap 2.0 is a completely different story. Double Tap 2.0 is amazing. Like it's When I play Black Ops 2 Zombies, I want to have this perk as one of my four perks because Pretty much what it is, it's stopping power. It gives you more damage because you're shooting double the bullets. Now, it doesn't work with every single weapon, and you know, that's understandable. You don't have a ray gun shooting double the bullets. But when you have a AN-94, which is already amazing, a M27, a SCAR-H, and you add Double Tap 2.0 to that, it becomes absolutely amazing. Even for the sniper rifle, it makes every single gun better you pack a punch a gun you add double tap 2.0 it makes it even better like great example the executioner without double tap 2.0 that gun wouldn't be good till round 30. with double tap 2.0 it's a one shot above round 30 and this is a must-have perk in black ops 2 zombies let's hope they bring it back in black ops 3 zombies as well so anyways guys that's all for now make sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and in the comment section below let me know what other top fives you want to see on the channel and also what are your top five favorite new perks not to be your top five favorite but what are your favorite new perks added into zombies after the original four peace out